the carnivore diet is just too darn expensive. Let's talk about that just a little bit today. Hello everyone, semi-retired Bob here. I talk about the carnivore diet, all things related to the carnivore diet, and miscellaneous odds and ends. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for stopping by. You might be wondering what, what you're watching. Well, basically what you're watching is you're watching me walk. The interesting thing about this is that two years ago, I couldn't do this. I could barely stand for a couple of minutes without severe pain. Now, I'm out here walking every day and many other things as well. If you're returning to the channel, welcome back. I'm glad you're here as well. We had to turn around there. There's somebody up there. Those irises I told you about on Wednesday. There's somebody up there picking over them, even though it's the wrong time of year to transplant those. But if you're returning to the channel, welcome back. I'm glad you're here as well. It means a lot to me that you choose to spend just a few moments of your day with me. I'd like to ask y'all to help me out just a little bit. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Drop down in the comments and say hi, Bob. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. All of these things are absolutely free and help me get the word out that it's never too late to change your life. I'm 61 years old and I'm doing things I couldn't do when I was 40. I do have one little piece of business to take care of today before we get into today's topic. If, you know, unless you haven't been watching any YouTube at all in the last 24 hours, you know that Keto Chow came out with a new flavor. And I'm one of their affiliates. I talk about the new Keto Chow flavors. Uh, <laughs> cantaloupe. Cantaloupe is what they came out with. I'm not a fan. For those of you that think I'm just a shill for Keto Chow, let me tell you, I'm not a fan. I liked, when I ate that kind of stuff, I liked cantaloupe a lot. Now, one of the things that I might say about this is that several of their flavors, I'm told, are much better if you use heavy whipping cream when you mix them up. I don't do that. I use butter as my fat in keto chow. So, take that for what you will. I mean, it's not like it was bad. It had a little bit of cantaloupe flavor to it. It was not bad, but it it wasn't good either. You know, it wasn't it didn't have that punchy cantaloupe flavor to it like some of the other ones that I've actually liked. So, you know, if you want to try it, it's now out there live on their website. If you're one of the people that uses heavy whipping cream and you like cantaloupe, you'll probably like this as a nice light summer flavor for you. Me personally, uh, like I said, not a fan, but I do talk about their products. You know, I primarily became a Keto Chow affiliate to get you guys a discount on the, the daily minerals that were designed by Dr. Barry. And if you didn't know, my discount code, semi-retired Bob, saves you a little money and you can use it every time. You used to have to, you know, you could only use it once, but now you can use my discount code every time you buy something from Keto Chow. So don't forget to save yourself a little money that way if you're one of the people that uses Keto Chow products. But anyway, let's talk about how expensive the carnivore diet is right now. It's amazingly expensive. Oh, I can't afford to eat like that, Bob. Well, first we'll talk about the fact that I eat basically ground beef and eggs. And I buy the cheapest ground beef I can find, which is... I know this one today because it's Wednesday, so I just put in my order for roughly the next months of food 
and I got 10 pound chubs on sale for $24.99, which made the, the ground beef about $2.50 a pound. Eggs are running about 18 cents each right now, which is a little expensive, but still not terrible. So, if you add that up, the pound, a pound of ground beef costing me $2.50. So if I eat a pound and a half of that a day, what is that, four bucks? And then 10 eggs, another dollar eighty. So I'm still getting in for under $6 a day. And that's just the base cost of ground beef and eggs. Now, if you're, uh, you know, one of these people that on the old way of eating you bought supplements plus you figure in how many times a day you're eating I bet you'll find that the carnivore diet actually saves you a lot of money and it certainly saves you time when you go into the grocery store because you don't have to spend all that time going up and down the aisles trying to figure out exactly what it is you're going to buy you already know when you go in. And there's been a lot of cars out here today for a Wednesday. You guys are seeing this on Thursday. But it's not even noon yet. And it's like a Grand Central Raceway down through here today. Maybe everybody's just out enjoying the heat. It is 94 degrees right now, but the humidity is not terrible. It's not supposed to get super humid until tomorrow when the storm front moves through. I'm sure you can hear the wind. But don't let cost scare you off the carnivore diet. And, you know, even if you end up being one of these people that buys a lot of steaks and roasts, it's obviously more expensive. By the time you factor in the doctor's visits, the meds that you're not gonna have to take anymore, and everything else, you're gonna end up saving money. Because I was, you know, I debated about it a bit when I first started, because I was taking a lot of prescription medicines. But now, as I go back and think about it, Man, that's about $100 a month I'm not spending on drugs. So, right now, because I'm in money-saving mode to go to Texas, that's an additional $100 I get to throw in the bank for when I go down there. <coughs> but, yeah, carnivore is not expensive, folks. You can do it as cheaply as you want. Can you spend the kind of money that somebody like Dr. Baker spends on food? You know, getting nothing but, you know, grass-finished tomahawk steaks and big, fat, juicy ribeyes and all of the steaks that you see him eating every day in his video? Yeah, you could do that. If I were to try and do that, I could only afford to eat three or four days a month, and the rest of the month I'd have to fast. And we all know how Bob feels about fasting. Maybe you don't. Maybe that'll be tomorrow's video. We'll see. But for now, don't forget, get out there, be 1% better. Today, tomorrow, every day. Have a great day, folks. I'll see you in the next one.